And then, yeah, so you spent the most of the afternoon looking for ducks, yes. huh? You got <laughs> lost, you said? Yes, we got lost on deck, deck nine. nine. Good morning, friends. It is just after 11. We're gonna head up for lunch here in a little bit. Uh, Carlos is getting ready. I'm already ready. There he is in there. Say hi. Hi. Um, we've been up for maybe like an hour or so watching TV, just chilling. Um, but uh, it's time to get up and do stuff. Today's our last day. Um, not the last vlog, but the last day on the cruise. Um, so, you know, it's always a little bit bittersweet. But um, anyway. I am looking forward to closing things out today. I want to try some of the bars and venues I haven't been to yet. Get to know some of the um, bar tenders and people, staff members out in the main part of the ship since we've been in Yacht Club more than anything uh, this week. Uh, but anyway, um, lots to see, still lots to do. Uh, I feel like we could even have a couple more days added on and um, still be having a good time. But you know, all the good things must come to an end eventually. But um, it's all good. We still got a whole two more vlogs left. So anyway, I'll take you with us. We'll see what we see. We'll do what we do. And we'll talk soon. So we made our way out to the Yacht Club sun deck area and over to the buffet. Megan Ian got a full array of stuff while Carlos and I opted for hamburgers and hot dogs, but I did get a plate of fries and asked them to put gravy on it from the carvery. And those made to order burgers are very, very good. But then from there, we decided to make our way out onto the main pool deck to hang out out there a little bit. It was definitely crowded since this was our final sea day, but we wanted to stay out there because we hadn't really spent a whole lot of time on the main pool deck. And I was hoping I could find a bartender at the pool bar for my cruise in April. So Carlos, how was your cruise? How's it been so far? Last day. <laughs> it's been good. Did you like it? Yeah. Was it your favorite cruise ever or no? Um, I didn't like the cruise director, but... That's true. The cruise director was a little bit unapproachable. Not as personable as others that we've had in the past. There was nothing wrong with him. He wasn't rude or anything. Just, we didn't really get to know him like we normally do, huh? Exactly. Yeah. It's very windy, so who knows if this footage is even going to be usable, but um, we're just exploring, seeing what we see, and doing what we do. But uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. So while we were hanging out on the pool deck, we decided to split up at one point because Mag and Ian wanted to explore different areas of the ship and check out the shops one last time. But Carlos and I hung out there a little bit longer, had a couple of drinks, and grabbed some ice cream, complete with sprinkles, of course. And then we decided to go explore the different bars around the ship. We started with Infinity, which is one that we'd been to already, and then we ended up at the Maravilla Lounge. The Maravilla Lounge didn't have a whole lot going on, so we went up to the pub because we had actually kind of hit it off with a bartender there. Unfortunately, I found out that her contract would end before my upcoming sailing in April, which was admittedly a bit of a bummer. But anyway, I'm also a fan of draft beer, so I grabbed one of those while Carlos had a cider. From there, we went into the casino and we decided to play for a little bit, and so we spent 30 minutes or so playing slot machines before making our way up to the Sky Lounge because I wanted to see what snacks they had up there. And of course, we grabbed a drink while we were there as well. But after a couple of hours of exploring, we were both kind of feeling sluggish, so we went back to our room to watch TV, and within a matter of minutes, we were both sound asleep. All right, y'all, so... Um, after, you know, a day of pretty much doing a whole lot of nothing, um, it's time for dinner. Um, not a bad day though. We uh, ended up taking a nap, which is something we almost never do, but uh, we needed one apparently. And then we're gonna now go to do dinner and then we're gonna come back and pack and then that'll be it. Um, and we'll see if there's anything going on this evening to get ourselves into um, before bed. But um, yeah, we gotta get up really early tomorrow, so I'm not expecting that we'll stay up too late. Um, anything to add, Carlos? No, it's been a fun week. Um, sad that it's coming to a close, but, um, there'll be other cruises. <laughs> yeah, um, but anyway, well, obviously we'll talk soon. So we went up and checked into dinner, but our table wasn't quite ready yet, so we went down to the top sale lounge to have a drink while we waited. We had hit it off with our wait staff on the first day, so we always requested them, and they ended up giving us the same table every night, which was nice. But that meant that there was almost always a 10 to 15 minute wait, which really isn't bad for good food and great service. So I suppose we should get a duck update from you, huh? Oh, yeah. So we found two ducks today. So that makes a total of three. And 
It's kind of cool because they're all from different people. So one is a little tiny blue bling blinged out duck, and the other was a uh, top hat duck. was wearing a top hat. Yeah, I'll have you send me a picture so I can insert what those look like. Absolutely. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, so you spent the most of the afternoon looking for ducks, yes. huh? You got lost, you said? <laughs> yes, we got lost on deck, deck nine. nine. Because you had heard, the, like, in the group that yeah, they were... Yeah, in the group they had said that somebody had posted that they had put ducks out on deck nine, and somebody else said that they had put ducks out on deck, on deck 15 and in the elevators. And so we started on deck nine and then got lost. And then you guys had, what, like, five or six shots of tequila and... <laughs> No tequila. Ended up dancing naked on the pool deck, or no? No. Oh, no. that was some other lady, or yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well that's fun. Um, uh, almost dinner time. Yes. And Italian then night. yeah, we're gonna have some Italian food. We're gonna get heartburn probably. It's gonna be great. Yes, I'm definitely gonna need a tums. <laughs> All right, well we'll talk soon. Bye. After dinner we went out to the main pool deck because it was dark at this point and I always liked the pool deck at night and we wanted to hang out out there for a little bit and then from there we decided to go down to the atrium and the main promenade to see what was happening down there. It was definitely hopping and popping down there with all the shops and stuff people getting last minute things before the stores closed for the night. Unfortunately Carlos and I had procrastinated packing so ultimately the time came for us to go up there and take care of that. So of course we come back to the room to a nice turn down bed ready to go for the night. Um, but we also get disembarkation info. Those are our tickets for our excursion in the morning, the Kennedy Space Center thing. And then we get macarons and that's a box of chocolates. Only in Yacht Club, y'all. Only in Yacht Club. We got to put this up, of course, because we don't want to lose that. And we got some packing to do. It's about 8.30 at night. 9.30? Yeah, 8.30. 8.30, yeah. And, um, we're just barely packing. But we're not doing the, we're not checking our bags or anything. We're going to take all of our luggage with you because that's what they said to do for our Kennedy Space Center thing tomorrow. But yeah, we'll talk soon. Soon after that, it was time for us to go to bed. So yeah, I want to thank you all so much for traveling with me. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.